10, a popular new TikTok trend is showing people an alarmingly easy way to steal Kias and Hyundais. The trend known as Kia Boys entices teens to break into these vehicles and take them out for a joy ride, leaving owners out thousands of dollars in repairs. Fox 40's Mason Morrow joining us now live from Sacramento after speaking with an auto body shop owner about this. Mason. Nikki, this trend we're talking about is a hashtag on TikTok. It has tens of millions of views on the internet and the biggest concern is how easy it actually is to pull off all you need is a screwdriver or a pair of pliers and a phone charging cable it's way too simple it shouldn't be that simple most cars are not this simple about a month ago clark mcgee noticed a string of kias and hyundais showing up at 16th street auto body all in the same exact shape they find the car broken window and the Steering column is peeled apart and it's been driven. Like, why is this so simple and what's going on here? And then somebody informed me of the TikTok challenge. I was like, oh my gosh. The now infamous trend first began by TikTok users in Milwaukee who demonstrated how to steal a Kia with just a couple of tools. So here is my steering column. McGee tells Fox 40 most vehicles have metal lock casings, but the Kias and Hyundais stolen for street racing use plastic. And McGee says while a lot of vehicles use a key code matching the ignition, these ones don't. There's no code. It's simply just put a, you know, put a pliers or something on the, on the, 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 the switch housing and the car goes. A cell phone charging cord is all it takes from that point to start the engine. We found out it was too easy to steal a car. McGee yeah, says repairs controls. cost anywhere These from two to four thousand dollars in at least a couple months to secure new parts. But he says his auto body shop has used parts available to get drivers back on the road in a week. A spokesperson for California Highway Patrol tells me they've received several reports lately of stolen Kias and Hyundais, usually year model within about 2011 to up to 2021. And law enforcement has some tips if you happen to drive one of these vehicles. They suggest parking in a garage or another secure, well-lit area, installing an alarm system in your vehicle, or go ahead and buying a steering wheel lock. Reporting live in Sacramento, I'm Mason Morrow, Fox 40 News. Mason, thank you.